Trafalgar Square was packed on Wednesday after Afghans gathered to mourn and protest for the victims of the Kabul University attack, which left 35 students dead and 22 wounded. The attack happened in Kabul on the 2nd of November after three gunmen stormed the university and began firing at students. Here in the UK, many stand in solidarity with the family of the victims and all who were affected by this tragic act. Some of the protesters explain why they're here and what they hope to achieve by raising their voices. Um, so we all gathered here today in solidarity with our Afghan brothers and sisters that we sadly lost to the Kabul University terrorist attack. Uh, we, the Afghan community and diaspora, strongly condemn these acts of terror, and we call upon the international community to cooperate and do more. We also call upon the Afghan government to do more to protect the citizens, to prevent more bloodshed, and to prevent any more innocent lives from being lost. Uh, the reason that uh, why we Afghan people are gathering in this place uh, in London is to uh, uh, reach out our voice for the world that we cannot accept no more this violence that is happening each time in our country. And in the last 40 years, we had enough suffering. We have enough uh, people that is displaced from their home from their country and they are within a very bad situation living in another country. So after this we don't want to do this happen and we want peace like the rest of the nations of the world. The reason we are here today at Trafalgar Square in central London is to raise our voice against the injustice, the instability, the ongoing conflict and the war in Afghanistan that has been going on for the past 42 years since the Soviet invasion in 1979. Since 2001, we've had the largest NATO presence in the world, for which we're thankful, for which we appreciate the support of the international community. But the government of Afghanistan have not been able to use their position of power in the right way. They haven't been able to use the support of the international community to meet the concerns of the, of the people of Afghanistan. They can't ensure peace. They can't ensure stability, they can't reduce the war and conflict, and they can't create the opportunity for the people to become prosperous, for the people to lead a successful life. The Afghan government now regards these attacks on civilians as the work of a web of groups with guns, determined to create chaos and destroy hope in Afghanistan. With stalled peace talks alongside recent attacks, many are left wondering if there will ever be peace in the country. Nonetheless, Afghans across the UK will continue to raise their voices and fight for what's right.